Hey guys, welcome back to the Wild Doc Project 365, episode 15, oh, 1496. Guys, if you're following along on YouTube, 97. If you're following along on YouTube, jump on over to thewilddoc.com, check out all of our full length videos. That is where we house them. Just got done doing a cool workout on the farm and uh, talking about squat warm ups. One of my favorites to do, quick and simple, so you're not thinking about a whole bunch of stuff, is duck walks. Um, my version of duck walk, I'm gonna walk you guys through. And it's great to open up the rotators of the hip, which we need for to get into that squat stance. Also, we're gonna get a whole bunch of ankle flexion here, uh, both uh, going into like that internal external rotation or supination pronation. You'll see what I mean in a second. So we're gonna start out to do this duck walk. We're gonna get into our squat stance. We're gonna put our hands on top of our head. We're gonna lean our feet forward, okay? And we're gonna open one leg, all right? Open the other leg. That's just giving ourselves a test. As we open one leg, we're going to step with the opposite leg that's open. We're going to transfer our weight. This leg opens. We come through. I did this with the shortest shorts on I could do, just so I could show a little thigh. So you get the idea. Stay as deep into the squat stance. Now, say you guys can only get to right here. Say you can only get into a three-quarter squat. That's fine. You're still going to open, walk, open, walk, open, walk to whatever your limitation is, okay? But try to get down as low as you can. Try to open that leg into that abducted and flexed hip position. Question guys, comments, push them below. Otherwise we're here each and every day optimizing function to optimize performance.